Oldsmobile Tornado. We're not in Lansing. We're not in Kansas. We're not in Detroit. We're not in Michigan. We're in Illinois, the land of Lincoln. We're at the Corvair Show. I've got an interesting car, but we won't talk about Tornados. It made it here. And what just rolled in? Black <laughs> Monza with a Corsa Turbo towing a 63 Spider. A few minutes ago, an Audi rolled through here towing a Corvair late model race car. So we thought you'd show, we'd show you what's going on in the Corvair affair business. This man's got an antique tow bar, probably as old as the car. <laughs> My dad bought it new for me when I was 16, and I'm 61. Yeah, I've got a couple just like this. Antique, good American iron. And worn out. But she does the job. Didn't, didn't she does the job. Corvairs, sunsetting, the land of Lincoln were in St. Charles, Illinois, and the Corvairs are everywhere. Station wagons and Lakewoods and Monzas, 66 Tornado, 63 Monza, 62 700 wagon with a Monza interior. We've got a late model race car with Z28 wheels and a 67, yep, no side markers. And here's a really cool dune buggy. This guy bought it in 1971, built by his brother Jim, and it disappeared for 38 years, and it's back, and it's beautifully restored, and it's Corvair powered. It's got a hydraulic clutch, six-cylinder, 140, four-car with a hydraulic clutch. And the engineering is interesting and incredible and so neat. And it's a good looking Corvair dune buggy. Most were built on a Corvair, on a Volkswagen chassis rather. This is built on a Warshawski chassis, which was J.C. Whitney, I think, in Chicago. Corvair front cross member. Let's zip through this. 63. It's got fuel injection, port fuel injection. Milled off the intake logs and Wobble position sensor, and he's got the turkey roaster cut in half over here and over there, screwed together. I'm not sure why, but that's what he's done. 66 four door, more door sports sedan. And the Corvairs are kind of scattered around. 61 Lakewood, they dropped the Lakewood name for half the year of production, but then they went to 62. Chevy 2s and the Corvair was starting to fade when it just had its birth in 1960, late 59. Greenbriars. And this one's got a few options on this four door, more door. It's got the mag style hubcaps. Chicagoland Corvair enthusiasts are sponsoring and hosting and volunteering for this event. It's an automatic with air conditioning. I've got a Greenbrier with mag style hubcaps and it is ready for camping. Cameo beige 64 with wire caps, beautiful dark brown, maybe a saddle interior. 110 automatic. This is a 66 in, ooh, ghost stripes. Cool. Kind of a bronzy, coppery color. And a load side. Those are so rare. It's a ramp side without the ramp. And beside it is another one aired out from South Dakota. Some people like to drive and drive far. Devon C, the last one made maybe. Corvair powered, ready to race. Devon's. Don't see too many of these around, especially not in such beautiful condition. You need a nice climate-controlled garage to save your baby from deterioration in the cool, damp weather they get. Here's a Corvair Greenbrier that was in a Chevrolet ad, what was it, 20 years ago? And it passed through a number of hands. Some people survived and some didn't. There's a story to it. I won't get into it right now. It's a 62 that was commissioned by the ad agency that General Motors used for so many years. And there it is, probably in the run they were using for the ad. Campbell Ewald, GM's advertising, marketing, advertising, marketing company. It's got Chrysler side marker lamps. Looks like a fisheye. Beautiful Corvairs. 64, 
Ramp side, 61 first year. I've got a 62, been sitting at my buddy's house for nine years. What's going to happen to it? Nobody knows. 64 and a 69. Yep, Corvair. Last year of production, 529 Monza convertibles made. And they're all numbered. Of the 6,000 produced, the last one is gone. Stored in a vault deep in the bowels of General Motors. Nobody knows where they... Is it an Olympic gold one where it went? We're at the Pheasant Run Resort in St. Charles, right by the airport. The airport's right there. Planes are taking off and landing. What a beautiful sunset. Amazing, huh? There were two of them parked side by side. We got a Sprinter. That's not a Corvair. That can get out of here. We've got a we got a Fitch Sprint with genuine hands, wheels, automatic transmission with a silverish gold champagne interior. I don't think I've seen this car before. Five lug wheels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Change the spindles in the front and weld up the axle in the back and redrill it. You and you got it. Done. Five lug wheels, way to go. Then you can run 14s, no more problemos. 62, my favorite year for the earlies. I love the earlies. The lates are cool, but the earlies are really good looking. We've got Mr. Jim's ramp side. He drives it all the way from Indiana. The Motor Cities, Ohio, Illinois, Michigan. They made Corvairs and Ypsilanti, Willow Run Assembly Plant. What is it now? Well, Leftover Air Museum. Here's a highly modified car with some kind of push-button door handle and a full custom leather interior. And wait till you see what's under the hood. It is truly amazing. Those are 71 and up Z28 or Chevelle SS mags made it of some kind of billet alloy 17 inch maybe very interesting the way chevrolet pressed them or kelsey hayes if that's who made them back in the late 70s for 71 production they were really crudely stamped the stamping was nothing fancy these are fancy just don't hit a curb it's got a fully molded in fitch 904 vent top John Fitch used to glue it on or pop rivet it on. There was a big seam right there where it stood up about a quarter of an inch. This one is molded and blended. There's not a ripple in the top at all. Just like GM would have done it on the 66, 67 Chevelles and 442s and the Charger did it. Check out what's under the clear deck lid. Electric cooled four throttle body fuel injection with a belt crank and two alternators and all kinds of reinforcements and stainless steel exhaust crossing over from the driver's side to the passenger or something there's a lot going on here a lot more than meets the eye you can spend a day investigating this beautiful purchased new Sprint GTS 68 purchased new. Wow, some people get a lot of mileage out of their cars. What a great 68 shaved off the door handles and put flush ones, side marker lights, turn the turn signals into air intakes. And where's his turn signal? Mm. Oh, surprise! I see you. Interesting. Shaved off the roof drip moldings. The last open road Chevrolet ramp side. Here's a beautiful, is that butternut yellow? 65 for sale. There's so many beautiful cars here. And they're kind of spaced out, so you got to walk fast. And my battery's going to go dead. What else is new? I sure hope the sound is working. Because if it's not, you won't hear a thing. 63, an ad amalgamation. Four-speed manual shift. Only way to fly. 67. Air-conditioned four-speed. The Motorola FM converter. Can't see them all. So many beautiful cars. 
People get annoyed with me when they say, you just passed over my car so quickly. Yeah, but I can't give every car 10 minutes of attention. My battery's going dead. My mouth's going dead. My Bluetooth's going dead. Everything's going dead. A friend of mine called me this morning and said, you're not going to believe it. High school guy that I hadn't seen in 40 years. After a long, courageous battle with brain cancer. Dead. Yep. 59 years old, three kids, probably... Mostly grown up. What a shame. What a waste. Yeah, life is short. These are, this is a white 69. Oh, I know who this car is. <laughs> when and if I decide to have my Fitch Sprint restored, this man here, Bossier City, Louisiana. There's the man. Look at this Stinger with Chrysler Sebring seats, white with a silver stripe. Silver interior, no back seat, meant for racing. Big four speed, air conditioning, small leather wrapped steering wheel. So many beautiful Corvairs. This fellow here, his father passed away a couple years ago at one of the Corvair events. Nice man, did some good work. I come here to the Corvair event, not so much for the cars, even though I love the Corvairs, I've got several, but I come here for the people senior division wear it with pride you work for it amazing car amazing the paint is so good you can't capture it you buy these things on ebay or cars or wherever you do your shopping and the car gets delivered and you say man where is that gleam i saw in the ad well it's right here at the corvair convention some cars are nice some cars are real nice and some cars are best of show we miss you papa jay I think you've seen red, but here's cherry red. Here's a drop of orange or yellow. That really pops, man. That is bright. And that one looks like a, was it cardinal red, which would have been a 65 color? Then we've got Le Mans blue, Daytona blue. I can't think of all the names of the colors off the top of my head. Beauties. Corsa with Chevy rally wheels. Looks like 15 by 7s in the back. Turbocharged. Green with a tan interior. I'm not sure what the color would be called. I thought I knew it all until I started looking carefully. There's your Corvair stock exhaust system. The left pipe just turned 90 degrees and the right pipe bent down a bit then came back out. Hard to get them to line properly. But everything's important when you're building a car or building furniture or building a house. Attention to detail. A 66 telescopic plastic wheel with air conditioning but no air conditioning under the beautifully detailed engine compartment. Air conditioning, canceled. Looks like the heater in my Tornado bypassed. 66 Corsa, 66 Corsa, 140. Oh, my least favorite exhaust tips. I just don't like the way those things just stick on with the screw hanging down. It's my pet peeve right there. Oh, my battery's fading. 5% battery. I don't like that. When the screw's hanging down, you got to weld them on, do a nice job. 65, 140 Corsa. The Corvairs are beautiful. The people are great. We meet old friends and new friends. And buy some parts and spend all our money and talk our lungs out and bore our friends to death. And we'll be back next year for some more. At the 2019 International Corvair convention in St. Charles, Pheasant Run Resort, probably an hour or so west of Chicago. You can't go east. You go for a swim. So we go west when we go to Chicago. Go west, young man. I spoke to you a couple years ago. Yeah. Made some progress, gotten a couple years older. Uh, another one. 62 is mine as well now. That's the way to do it. Buy them where they're still around yeah. before old men like us get buried in them. Either, <laughs> either by our wives or girlfriends or just old age. you got to enjoy them. Get the young kids interested. This car was fresh out of long-term storage, as I recall. Two 63s and a 62 and a 63 and a 65 and a 66 and a 62 and a solar. These were made in Wisconsin by 
oh, what's the fellow's name now? It escapes me. We've got Keystone Classics, and there's pictures of this car in the shops that belong to, it's got the 904 vent top, and the shop belonged to, I can't think of the fellow's name, it escapes me. Give me a second. There's his car being recreated 50 years ago. Solar Automotive, oh, I can't think of his name, Fulton Street, Princeton, Wisconsin. View of shop with convertible and four-door. Corvairs being resurrected. Solar Automotive is pleased to introduce you to an automobile which will speed your heartbeat and increase your driving fun. The Cavalier. Yep, many options. And here's one that I see at all the shows. Been around for years and years and years. Hard to believe it was recreated 40 years ago, and here it is all these years later. It's a 54-year-old car. Got lots of parts. Got our usual vendors doing us a great service. We've got people that drive from far and wide, and they drive them. Corvairs are meant to drive. No trailers for us. Did you bring yours? It's right there. Which one? Oh, wait a minute. I thought I'm at the old show. Aren't we in Lansing, Michigan? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, maybe I've got a Corvair in the trunk. We'll have to go and look. <laughs> it's an interesting car, and I drove it here. Yeah, changed oil yesterday for the first time in 40 years. Little, little overdue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw you in Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. coming out the Indiana Turnpike. Whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wave. What am I supposed to say? I have a Corvair. Everybody waves when you're driving an old car. Oh, we love them. Oh, it can land an airplane on the hood. It's got an ashtray for every passenger, but it even has a seat belt, and it has the most important thing for a big car of the era, the Mason Jar of Death. A single reservoir master cylinder. What were they thinking? Until it was regulated in 67. 66. First year and the best year. My 66 Tornado. I have another one that I bought in 79. Same year, same color. We love it at the Corvair Convention. We'll be back making more videos. Join us here. Free admission.